Hello everybody, this is Caleb here again. And as you can probably see, the machine is sort of bolted together for the first time. Now this video actually kind of changed purpose in a lot of ways. It was just gonna be a simple little video where I went through and said, hey look, it moves and it, it kind of bolts together, which is surprising, right? Well, the funny thing is I was looking at the footage from the first attempt at shooting this and I realized that I had some wild stuff going on and I'm gonna show that footage right now as I talk. Uh, essentially what was happening is something was so misaligned that the Y Access rails were doing this weird shifting as the gantry moved along them. I decided that this video was going to be more about how I solved that and how I kind of am going through a lot of the troubleshooting of working through this machine because through one way or another I guarantee you that I don't necessarily give the whole story a lot of time. I show things as they're going well but no matter how you put it making a CNC machine doing a project this ambitious is not sunshine and rainbows all the time. In fact most of the time it's going from one problem problem to another and solving those and this is no exception as far as I'm concerned there was a major fundamental problem that I'm going to have to solve and now at least I've identified it so let's talk about it now you'll have to pardon me if it's a little bit of a shaky cam here because my tripod just is not short enough to actually get down this low on the ground but as you can see uh, right here and here these two bolt holes are not lining up with the slots. And I think what has happened, without knowing 100%, I'm pretty confident that this side of that rail is the first holes that I actually drilled and tapped. And they're out of the tolerances that I, I needed for it uh, because I was shooting video of them. And so that's kind of a bummer, but what I'm going to do to solve this, so I'm gonna take a file and I'm just gonna file uh, this hole or these two slots out farther you know this way so that I can actually get in there with a bolt properly what had happened initially though when I shot the first little bit of video is I had just forced everything in there and figuring I know that this floor is slightly unlevel and I figured oh it's just being a pain in the rear well it, it wasn't it's kind of interesting because you know I'm using these steel V wheels and the structure of this machine is so rigid that it literally was able to pick up ends of it and push itself out and everything and that's pretty wild but yeah, it's it works much better now and it isn't doing any of that craziness. So I'm pretty happy with that. I know that's it might not be the most exciting thing or interesting thing, but it definitely highlights the kind of problems that I run into or have run into along this whole process of prototyping it, figuring it out. So anyways, if you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and have a great day.